Assalamu alaikum ninjas and welcome back, welcome back. Another series over my YouTube channel testing three different processors. Uh, OnePlus 7T, Snapdragon A55+, Plus, OnePlus 6T, Snapdragon A45 and Poco X3 Pro, Snapdragon A60. Either SX2 emulator PS2 games on these three awesome, awesome smartphones, guys. Uh, all the buying links will be in the description. It's very hard to get these old phones, guys. So I would suggest you which uh, phones you can buy from 200 to 1,000 dollars. But it's going to be very interesting to do this. So watch this video till the end. It's going to be short, probably less than 10 minutes for all these three phones. Enjoy. Okay, Need for Speed Underground with the OnePlus 7T Snapdragon 855 Plus. By the way guys, this is 2X Res with a Vulcan AP. Laggy, very very laggy here. Very very laggy. Uh, anyway. Somehow it's not laggy with the with the camera like this or still it's still laggy anyway what's gonna happen if we move resolution down to 1x and i will be also cho choosing opengl ap on 1x resolution the game looks looks that it so far doesn't lag let me check it out again yeah it, it, the game runs much much better bro Yeah, man, now it's running full speed, bro. So it seems that this game is very heavy, man, for two extras. Wow. Awesome. Next. Okay, and just uh, this is Need for Speed Underground right now with the OnePlus 6T, 1X resolution, Vulcan AP. Great performance. Again, uh, I'm in love with the ETR SX2 regarding the uh, mid range and old flagship chips, chipsets, processors. So, <laughs> running amazing, bro. I'll be testing also 2x res, just in a minute. Oh, there was a lag there. We're back to normal. Wow. Okay, let's now try 2x. Two X is laggy now. Two X is laggy for sure. You can probably notice that. Yeah, it's getting back now. Heavy game man, heavy heavy game. Need for speed underground is a heavy game. The back camera gives me 60, uh, sorry for that, 30 FPS, which is really good. Check it out. It's smooth in reverse. Which is a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, let's go next. Okay, welcome back. Need for Speed Underground PS2 game with the Ether SX2 latest build. Snapdragon 888. Uh, let's check it out. This is at 3x resolution, guys. Are you ready? Let's check it out how it's running on 3x resolution. This is on OpenGL. If I see that it's laggy, uh, I'll be testing it on Vulcan also. And of course, we're gonna lower resolution down.
I see that it's a bit laggy, it's a bit laggy there. Run 90% CP real time speed. Okay. Let's go in immediately here, test it at uh, 2x res on OpenGL. This is 2x on OpenGL, and now what I'm seeing full speed, 100% CP real time speed. Oh, there was again another lag, but small short lag. I think it's generally running full speed, man. 100% CP real time speed. Let's go, let's go, Need for Speed Underground with the Poco X3 Pro, Snapdragon 860, let's go immediately test it here at 2x resolution, uh, let's see here how it's gonna run, this is an amazing game, uh, Underground 1 and Underground 2 are amazing games, this is an open GL by the way, 2x res, amazing car, I love this car. Here it is, it's, uh, it's laggy here, Isaac, because you probably can see that it is laggy at 2x. So uh, let's lower the resolution down. It is heavy game, what the heck, it is heavy game. So far it was running full speed uh, on Snapdragon 888 at 2x. We are back now, uh, we lowered it at 1x resolution. Obviously the graphics are right now very bad because of the resolution. And it is running a bit better, but still laggy, guys. There's still lags. FPS drops. Okay, welcome back. So, Need for Speed Underground, guys. Uh, this is right now Poco F3, Snapdragon 870 at X3, 3X resolution uh, using Vulkan AP. Uh, you can see myself, it's not running full speed. Very heavy game, very beautiful game, awesome game. This is one of the best racing games ever. Uh, I think that most of you will agree with me. I just love this Nitro game. This Nitro game is really beautiful. Uh, sorry for that, NF, uh, NFS <laughs> and Need for Speed game. I said Nitro, I'm not sure. Uh, so, but it's not playable guys, for me this 3x resolution is not playable, very heavy res test right now for a new emulator. We're gonna go now here, jump down to 2x resolution, from Vulcan AP to 2x, check this out. Now we're gonna run at 2x resolution. Okay, now we're gonna test Vulcan 2x resolution guys, but remember, uh, I'll just to remind you that I disabled these things option down there. Okay, let's go. Two X resolution we can AP Poco F3 running full speed, but I think that occasional few FPS drops down. Let me just check it out. There you go, boom! There was an FPS drop there for sure. Okay, just so for the end, I will be showing you the settings uh, which we use. So we're gonna go now here to app settings. Uh, the, usually, this is the full settings which uh, most of the games are running really, really good. Uh, you should, and uh, of course, uh, you will have to uh, configure a little bit, customize different settings regarding uh, some different uh, games. Have that in mind. But usually, these settings which I'm showing you, they work the best for most of the games. Doesn't matter whichever processor you have, they will work really good. And remember, Vulkan and OpenGL sometimes. Uh, the emulator will crash on Vulkan, sometimes it will crash on OpenGL, but so far most of the time OpenGL is the best guys. Uh, upscale and multiplayer, of course we used 2x and 3x, for some games you will have to use 1x even if you have a Snapdragon A55 Plus or A65. Uh, anyway, you can see myself here the settings, so make sure to uh, pause this video if I'm too quick with this one. 
check it out. GPU palette conversation enabled, threaded presentation enabled for the Vulkan AP support. Very important. Also, you can load texture replacement if you want to do that. And uh, for the end, regarding the advanced settings, here we go. To be honest, I didn't touch nothing here, but I will still show you. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Salama.